The Pandavas were in exile for 13 years since they had lost their kingdom to the Kauravas at a game of dice. After that, 13 years in exile was over. Yudhishthira tried for a peaceful settlement with the Kauravas. But Duryodhana, the eldest of the Kauravas, wanted to wage a war and a huge battle fought between them. Pandavas finally won the war, but despite victory, Yudhishthira was always sad. The kingdom is ours, but at what cost? I have lost my cousins, my uncles, brave heroes. I wish to leave this world and become a saint. I don't want the kingdom. One day, Yudhishthira's mother, Kunti, his uncle died in a forest fire. Narada brought this news to Yudhishthira. Saint Narada, I really don't want to live anymore. I have lost my mother and all people close to my heart. Let me leave this world and approach heaven. They also, also feel, feel the, the same, same Radha. Radha. Let me also come with you. Yudhishthira made Parikshit, the son of Abhimanyu and grandson of Arjuna, ascend the throne. He took Draupadi and his brothers out of Hastinapur. Entire city of Hastinapur were in tears to see their beloved princes depart. At that instant, a stray dog followed the princes. The Pandavas were on their way to heaven. They crossed the great desert till they reached the foot of Mount Meru. Their aim was to enter heaven in the human form which only perfect humans can achieve. Yudhishthira, look! Our sinless Draupadi has fallen! Yudhishthira answered without turning back. She was always partial to Arjuna. That's why she couldn't enter heaven in her human form. Look! Sahadeva has also fallen! He lacked humility. Nakula has now fallen. He was too proud of his handsome looks. Look! 
My God, brother, Arjuna has also fallen down. His valor made him too proud. At the same moment, Bhima fell down. Brother, where did I fail? You will be. You ain't beyond your requirement. As Yudhishthira trekked alone with the little dog, he saw a chariot in the sky. The next moment, Indra, the Lord of Heaven, appeared before him. Come, Yudhishthira, I shall take you to heaven. Ascend the chariot. I do not wish to go to heaven without my brothers and our wife Draupadi. They have already reached heaven, but not in their human forms. Ascend the chariot. This dog too will be with me. No, no. That's no place in heaven for dogs. If there's no place for this faithful dog, then I too don't have a place in heaven. Are you willing to sacrifice going to heaven for the sake of an animal? Leave the dog. I cannot abandon him. He has followed me devotedly. But you abandoned your brothers in Draupadi. Yes. They are dead, but this dog is still alive. He had kept me company. He now depends on me and I will not abandon him. Suddenly the dog vanished and Lord Yama appeared. It was Yama who had followed Yudhishthira in the form of a dog. My son, you have compassion for all creatures and this quality of yours has made you enter heaven in your human form. Yudhishthira left with Indra and Yama left for his abode.